All right, Shalom, brothers, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give glory and honor and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahawashai, Ba'ashem Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. My name is Brother Hawashai Zion. It's coming through real quick to feed the sheep, all right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahawashai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahawashai is the name of the Son. Waha Kudash means and the Holy Spirit, all right? So, yeah, here we go with this lesson right here. This is Jude chapter number, um, well, there's only one book, the Jude chapter one, if you will, verse three, it says, beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith. Okay, now, obviously, brothers, you know, when we do these videos, it's an exhortation. It's to encourage you, you know, to earnestly which really means wholeheartedly contend, which means to strive or struggle for the faith, okay, which was once delivered unto the saints. So you have to earnestly with, a, with literally your, uh, as they say, put your best foot forward, all right, and come correct in sincerity when you have to come to this faith, all right? And when you do come to this faith, you know, it's sweet in your mouth, you know, as honey, but in your belly is bitter. So it's, it's always a struggle. It's always a struggle. You know, sometimes you wish that the struggles would end, but then you think about this, you know, uh, how would you contend for the faith? You know, so it's, it, part of the faith is overcoming things. So when you go through your life and you're like, why is this happening to me? Why do I have to do this? Why is this happening? Because it's necessary in order for you to receive the kingdom of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. All right, let me finish the verse out and then I'll go back. So it says, And exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Okay, so, you know, simply put, you're going to have to strive for this thing. You know, you're going to have to strive for this thing, man. And, and that's, what it's, that's what it's all about. Okay, Romans chapter number 15 and 15. Nevertheless, brethren, I've written the more boldly unto you in some sort as putting you in mind because of the grace, which is a gift. Okay, it says that is given unto me. It's like a given to me of the heavenly father that I should be the minister, which is the word diakonos, which means servant. The servant of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach to the Gentiles. And the Gentiles meaning Israelite foreigners, okay? Um, because that's definitely not talking about the other nations. All right? It's talking about those who were scattered amongst the other nations who are Israelites. Supporting verses would be Hebrews 8 and 8, Jeremiah 31 and 31, Acts chapter number 26, verse 7, James chapter 1, verse 1, 1 Peter 1 and 1, okay? Romans chapter 9. Verses, I believe it's three through, I want to say eight. All right. So everything is for the Israelites. So it says, ministering the gospel, which is the good news of the heavenly father, that the offering up of the Gentiles might be acceptable, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. All right. The Holy Spirit, meaning this knowledge and this truth. So they're cleansed by the knowledge and truth. Okay. That's how you cleanse your way. All right. What converts you is, you know, following the law, statutes and commandments. The conversion is, is done by the law. All right. That's converting the soul. Uh, reference point would be Psalm chapter 19 and verse number seven. All right. The law of the, Yahweh is perfect. Converting the soul. OK, so any Christian that says, that, you know, well, we don't follow the law. Well, they're not converted. That's fine. You don't have to believe, you know. But we do understand that we do believe. So you can't, you know, you can't say that you do if you don't. <laughs> Galatians 6 and 11 says, uh, Ye see how large a letter I have written unto you with mine own hand. And yeah, he had to write large letters, you know, to correct the churches, to which is the body of Yahweh Shai, to exhort them too, because, you know, men were obviously weak in the faith. You know, people were uh, walking disorderly. It was commonly reported that there was some that was walking disorderly among among them. And there was men that crept in unawares as well. You know, men who just crept in. You know, they, they didn't set up any meetings with anybody and formally introduce themselves. 
uh, they just, you know, portray like they're part of something when they're not. You know, and that's that's not how this works. Okay. So anyways, uh, back to about the suffering. Hebrews 13 and 22. I'm just reading some of these precepts. And I beseech you, brethren, suffer the word of exhortation. So allow the word of exhortation for I've written a letter unto you in few words. Right. So some of them, man, he, he speaks plain and some of them hard to be understood as as Paul was uh, uh, expound, it's like, yes, Peter was speaking about, you know, as he said, our beloved brother Paul, you know, which validates his writings, you know, he said that some of his letters are hard to be understood, you know, because pe people don't understand that. Oh wait, I gotta suffer in order to to make it. What are you talking about? You know, and certain things are regarding the mystery of the Gentiles, which is a mystery. To other people And it's hidden And it's hidden unto them that are lost Alright But Yahweh Shai said I have lost none Alright so You know just keep on going brothers Don't don't stop you know Because we are going to literally be uh, Delivered And that's what this is all about Alright Uh, this is 2 Peter 3 and 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, and both which I stir up your pure mind, minds by way of remembrance. It's another thing. The scripture is being written down so that you could remember them. All right, that's the reason why the scriptures was written down in the first place. Okay, so just the exhortation, you know, you two, while suffering and things, you know, it blessings follow. Blessings follow, all right? There's a balance. It's an order of things, and that's how it goes down. So don't feel you just, you know, oh, man, you know, nothing's going to come of this. Nah, look at what's going to come of this right here. Okay? Isaiah 45 and 17, but Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. So that's us. We are the world without end, all right? The Israelites. And the Lord's spirit is upon us. That's why we are able to do videos. That's why we're able to understand the knowledge and decipher it and also to teach it, push it out. All right. To absorb more information, to go and explore more information behind the scenes. You know, when cameras are off and you're, you're delving into it and, and building with brothers, you know, which is very important to build with brothers. OK, because we don't know how long this thing's going to go for. And uh, you'll cherish the times that you got to build with brothers. Okay, if you happen to be, you know, going through hell in that time, you know, so you have to get thrown in a concentration camp. Man, you're gonna you're gonna look back on those times when you were with brothers, man, and rejoice, man. That's that's gonna keep your faith strong. Okay, and the scriptures, you know, rebuke not getting together. You're supposed to get together with brothers, man. All right. That's what it says, man. Forsake not the assembling of yourselves together as many are in the uh, habit of doing, man. Okay? Forsake not. So don't, don't do that. Don't, you know, be isolated away from people, away from brothers. I'm not supposed to do that, man. That's going off. All right? So, yeah, look, uh, let me try to get some more scriptures, man. <laughs> yeah, Nehemiah. That's crazy, man. Yeah, he almost laid hands on somebody. I was just reading a precept. You know, because they kept on messing with him about the Shabbat. Kept on coming around. Uh, verse 12. All right, here we go. This is uh, Acts chapter 18 and 4, okay, concerning con contending for the faith. It says, and he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath and persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. Let me go to that word for persuaded real quick. Because that's what we're doing, you know, through the spirit, man. Persuaded, it says uh, G3982, patho. 
Okay. And it says to persuade, induce one by words to believe. Right. Right. So we don't contend with fists. You know, we, we're, we're persuading with words to induce by words to believe, to make friends of, to win one's favor, gain one's goodwill, or to seek to win some, strive to please one. Exactly. There you go. All right. Uh, going down. It says to tranquilize. That's not applicable. Um, to persuade. Definition D. To persuade unto, move or induce one to persuasion. To do something, absolutely. And to do what? To earnestly contend for the faith. We, we, you know, given all diligence, you know, to exhort you to earnestly contend for the faith, man. So, yeah, that, hey, Lord willing, uh, this is edifying. All right, through the spirit and power of your Hobbes and your Shah. Just a quick lesson. I'm going to do another couple, uh, Lord willing, a little bit later. Brothers, you know, me and Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, power your day up and uh, keep you and establish you, man, in righteousness. All right, until next time, Shalom and Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makakadash, Barakatham.